Giza, home to the pyramids that are more than 4,000 years old. Until two weeks ago, they were visited by thousands of tourists a day. But now, Giza is empty. And horse guys like Farak Abu Ghanim, who has 25 employees and 35 horses, are in trouble. From where we feed our family, and from where we feed these horses. Each horse costs almost $10 a day to feed. Farak has already gone into debt to pay for them. Many more are like him. Tourism accounts for one out of every 10 jobs in Egypt. Everybody likes the tourist. Everybody likes the tourist. Because nobody likes sleeping. You want work. These pyramids normally attract 12 million tourists a year to Egypt, but since the protests began, they've been deserted. And with all the attacks on foreigners in the streets, many here worry it will be some time before the tourists come back. Egypt is a daunting prospect for travelers. The must-visit Egyptian museum in downtown Cairo is located right in the middle of the demonstrations. And in the Red Sea resort of Sharm el-Sheikh, American investors are holding up millions of dollars in development projects because of the unrest. Five years. It's going to take us five years to catch up to where we are today. In central Cairo, shop owners like Abdul Al Sunni say their business is down 70 percent. He says he's not earning enough to feed his family. No business. Across the street, business in this leather store is even worse. When was the last time you sold a jacket? This is about two weeks ago. Your last sale was yeah, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah. So you're hurting. You're hurting. Yeah, of course, yeah. All of Egypt is hurting. One bank estimates the country is losing $310 million a day. But for the man on the streets, they can't get Egyptian pounds out of the ATMs. We've been out of work for two weeks. Many businessmen may not be happy with Mubarak, but they're getting impatient with the protesters who are killing their bottom lines. Terry McCarthy, CBS News, Cairo.